every time you always attack the Igbos in Lagos. Why? Because they're by non Yoruba. Please, so I want to ask you is it only Igbos that are foreigners in Lagos? No. We have the Aosas, we have the Fulani, we have the Ijos, we have the Shekiwi. It is that are living in Lagos. However, it's only the Igbos that you find convenience or always insult every time. Only Igbos. Another thing is, you complain that the Igbos have more markets. Do they forbid you from going to rent shops in those markets? No. My turf is populated by non yoruba I don't see you threatening to close that market. It's always Igbos markets. It's always Ladipo. It's always Computer Village. What is your problem with Igbos? What is your beef with Igbos? Oh, Igbo did not vote for your candidate. Oh, because your candidate lost in Lagos. You believe that Igbos are the reason why your candidate lost. Are you telling me that the Igbos are more than the Yobas in Lagos? No. So if the Yobas are more than the Igbos in Lagos, did the Yoba vote for your candidate? Answer me now. So if fellow Yobas cannot vote for your candidate, you are not angry for non Yoba that did not vote for your candidate. What is your problem? Don't the Igbos have right to vote for who they want to vote for? Why, why do you find joy in threatening the Igbos? I will throw the Igbos in the river. We will send the Igbos back in. We will send them back to their village. We will close the market. Really? Threatening people? Threatening people's freedom? Threatening people's sources of income? Just because you want them to vote for your candidates? If your candidate is credible, if your candidate is worth it, you don't need to threaten people to vote for your candidate. They will do that willingly because they will see the quality of a leader in your candidate. But no, threats, 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 and you're not tired. You know, they tire you. The Igbos are, are very peaceful. Check all this crisis that you see that happens in Lagos. How many of them were started by Igbo? How many of them do you see Igbo people fighting? No. They do their business go back to their family, enjoy their life. But no, if they pay, pay you, if they pay you, why? Yobas are in other states in Nigeria. Yobas are in Delta, they are in Edo, they are in Rivers, they are in Benue, they are in the northern part of Nigeria. I don't see anybody telling Yobas, go back to your state. But no, oh no, now you get Lagos. Oh no, no one may get peace of mind. Oh no one may do our business in peace. It's time you come out with your full chest and tell us why you hate the Igbos. Stop hiding other politics. Stop hiding other. We are the one that owns Lagos. Nobody's competing Lagos with. Now you get the sea of of Lagos. Now you tell Lagos truth. We agree. Nobody's competing with you. But come on with your full chest and tell us why you hate the Igbos. Straight up. Be bold enough to tell us why you hate us. Because we won't do you anything. We will not disturb your livelihoods. We are paying rent. We are paying tax. We are contributing hugely to Lagos State. Yet, you know what may we drink water drop cup? Wait, vote for your own candidate. May I vote for my candidates? There is freedom to vote for who you want to vote for. Not the threatening person to vote for your candidates. Maybe by force. Guess what? The Igbos are blessed. Anywhere they go, they succeed. Anywhere they go, they excel. And nobody can stop that blessing from them. You hate us for now to tomorrow. We are still great. We are great. Hey, hello, we are great.